You know that bass be making me want to pump. What's good, pal? with director peeps? Saturday. Mm. You know what that means. I'm going to show you how to do the bass pump effect using Power Director 18 and Power Director 365. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Here we are in Power Director. The bass pump effect makes your video screen pump to the beat of the music in your video. This effect is great for any video, especially music videos. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the bass pump effect for your videos. Let's pump it, hottie. First thing that you want to do is drag your music clip down to track two. Then you want to right click on your music clip and you want to go to use automatic music beat detection. Now you could go ahead and change the minimum time between beat markers and use detect and let it automatically do it for you. I like to manually do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the space bar on my keyboard to start playing it. And I'm going to press the A key every time a beat drops. And I went ahead and pressed the space bar to stop that. And now that I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and click on apply. And it adds these beat markers in the timeline. So I could use these beat markers to place my playhead directly when the beat drops. Next thing I need to do is place the image or the video that I'm going to use on track two. So I'm going to go up here, hold down my left mouse over this clip, and I'm going to drag it down to track two. I'm going to place my cursor at the end until I see these two arrows. Hold down my left mouse and I'm going to drag this out so that it matches the duration of the beats. Now I need to add some effects to make this bass bump thing happen. So I'm going to go up here to the effects room. And I'm going to go down to special. And there's an effect on here called rocking. This will make the effect jump on the screen. So I'm going to left click, hold down my mouse and drag this down to this clip and let it go. And then I want to add some chromatic aberration to this to make it look like whenever the bass pumps that it actually shakes, really shakes it to the sides and stuff because it causes that red, green and the blue to kind of shift. So I'm going to go up here to Boris Effect Stylize. And I'm going to go to BCC misalignment, hold down my left mouse, drag this down on top of the clip as well, and let it go. Now, I need to make some adjustments to these effects that I just added. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the effect button. And first, we want to make sure that rocking is selected. And for rocking, I want it to really be strong. So I'm going to move this all the way up to 150. Then I want to make sure that BCC alignment is selected. So I'm going to left click on it. And now the red is way off to the side and the blue is way off to the side as well. So I want to bring these closer in because since they're so far out, it's really going to not look as realistic. So I'm going to go to the red offset and I'm going to click on position. And then I'm going to click on OK. And now I'm going to go to the blue offset. And that looks pretty good there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And now that we got that all set up, we want to make sure that the effects that we added are only going to show up whenever the beat drops. So 
the first thing I want to do is I want to lock this audio track so that I don't split it or I don't move it. Then I'm going to left click on this beat marker here and it'll bring my playhead right to that position. Now I want to split the clip at this position by hitting control T. And then I want to move forward three frames because we want this to be really quick and we can move forward three frames by pressing the period key on our keyboard three times. Then we want to hit control T again to split it again. Then we want to click on the next beat marker and we want to keep doing this until we get all of the small clips for the effect added wherever there's a beat marker. So now we want to go ahead and remove all of the large sections and just leave the small segments that we put where the beat drops. So I'm going to hold down my control key on my keyboard. I'm going to left click all of the large portions. I'm going to right click on one of them, go all the way up to remove and then remove and leave gap. And I did remove and leave gap so that all of these little clips stay exactly where the beat markers are. Now what we need to do is go back to our media room so that we can go ahead and bring the clip back in. So I'm going to go to the media room and I'm going to drag the same clip that I used into track one. And then I'm going to go ahead and place my cursor at the end until I see those two arrows. Hold down my left mouse and drag this out. So what this does is it creates the normal view of the clip and it will only see the rocking and the chromatic aberration when the beat drops. Look like we got a booming system. If you like what you see, I'll leave some links to buy Power Director in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.